It's almost like a flashback to the COVID pandemic all around the city today as our crew spotted people staying safe in the polluted air by wearing masks, of course. And Paul Gessler took the first alert mobile weather lab to Lake Montebello, which is right near an air monitoring station there. And he explains those latest levels that we are seeing tonight. Sunrise in North Baltimore Thursday over Sweet Air Street is anything but. It's not a very safe thing to be outside all day long, but if you have to do things, important things, that's understandable. You can tell the difference. It's a haze, and it's just weird, though. I can see the haze. Yeah, so it's out here. Many outdoor activities in the city and counties suspended. Some flights along the East Coast are affected, although BWI says operations remain normal. We've seen hazy days in the summer in um, areas where there's been forest fires, and but nothing like this. The air quality Thursday is the worst it's been yet, as smoke from the Canadian wildfires continues to blink at the East Coast. There is a base layer of dirty air that is out there, but there could be hot spots. Randy Mosier from the Department of the Environment says the state's seeing an increase in fine particulate matter, one of the pollutants measured at stations like this across the region. This is an exceptional event. The, the level of fine particles coming from this wildfire smoke are quite high. And it's actually these particles that can cause the most amount of um, harm for our health. ER doctors say you could experience itchy, watery eyes and a scratchy throat. They're expecting more respiratory complaints, asthma flare-ups and bronchitis. Limit your activities outside if you can help it. Um, turn on the air conditioners and keep them going. Even when the air clears and faint fire smell dissipates, health officials say air quality may remain at unhealthy levels. It's best to stay inside or wear a mask to filter out those particles until air quality measurements come down. You just never know. You got to be careful. You got to be cautious. Thursday afternoon's Washington Nationals game was postponed due to poor air quality readings down in D.C. Of course, the Orioles scheduled to start a homestand Friday against Kansas City at Camden Yards. Right now, team officials tell me that all this weekend's games are scheduled to go on as planned, but they will consult with Major League Baseball on those decisions. For now, reporting from Lake Montebello, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.